What is going on everyone? I hope you were all having a fantastic day. So on Monday, we put SoFi head to head with Varro Bank. And on Wednesday, we put Discover Bank head to head with Chime. And today we have the finale, unless we continue the series in the future. But for the time being, we have the finale, which is between Discover Bank and SoFi. So let's put both of these platforms head to head and see which one offers you the best financial tools to secure a better financial future for you and your loved ones. If you enjoyed this video and this little tournament that we did this week, then be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And let me know what other banks you'd like to see go head to head in future videos. With that being said, it's time to put these two winners head to head. So let's jump right into it. So if you did see either my separate reviews on SoFi and Discover Bank or the earlier head-to-head -head videos from earlier in this tournament, then you probably know most of the features from both Discover and SoFi. So I don't wanna go over all of the features in detail in this video, just because I've covered them so many times in previous videos, and I really wanna take a deep look at how they compare to each other. So if you do need a full breakdown of either of the features for SoFi or Discover Bank, then I'll leave links to both of those reviews in the description below. But in case you need it, here is a painfully fast lightning round. SoFi is gonna give you no fees, 55,000 free ATMs, 0.25% interest, purchase protection, warranty extension, cash back on a number of subscription services, peer-to-peer -peer transfers, FDIC insurance up to $1.5 million, access to some amazing budgeting, borrowing, and investing features, amazing customer service five days per week, and the ability to watch the Rams football team and say, hey, that's my bank. <gasps> Discovered is also gonna give you no fees, access to 60,000 ATMs, 0.7% on your savings account, which by the way, literally just drops in 0.95%, peer-to-peer -peer transfers through Zelle, 1% cash back on up to $3,000 in purchase per month, money market accounts, CDs, and most importantly, the best customer service on planet Earth. Man, I'm out of shape. All right, with that incredibly unproductive but rather efficient lightning round out of the way, let's take some of these features and put them under a magnifying glass to see how they stand out from the crowd. You hit it, a magnifying glass, magnified money. Add that to my list of bad jokes. Let's first talk about ATMs. I'm not sure if you caught it in that flurry of information earlier, but Discover claims that they offer access to 60,000 free ATMs, while SoFi only offers 55,000, which let's be honest, is not a huge difference. However, keep in mind that SoFi is going to reimburse any and all ATM fees worldwide on the MasterCard network of ATMs, which is pretty widespread. So if you do use a MasterCard ATM anywhere in the world, then you're going to have that ATM fee reimbursed to you, which is pretty fantastic. And trust me, the ATM network for MasterCard is really widespread. So in my opinion, SoFi wins the ATM battle, but Discover did actually just drop their interest rate from 0.95% to 0.7%, but that's still significantly higher than what SoFi currently offers at 0.25%. But these small differences in interest rates is not where the true benefit lies with either of these accounts. It really comes down to the debit cards and the benefits that you get with those. And trust me, they both go far beyond the competition. So with SoFi, you are going to earn limited cash back on things like Disney+, Plus, Spotify, Hulu, and a few others, and I do really like that these are services that people actually use, but the amount that you're going to earn from this cash back is probably not going to be nearly as much as that flat 1% cash back that Discover is offering on up to $3,000 in purchases each month. So remember, this basically means that if you're spending at least $3,000 each month on your regular everyday purchases, then you're gonna get 30 bucks for free every single month for absolutely nothing. And that's on a free to use debit card, which is pretty fantastic if you ask me. That said, the benefits don't stop there for SoFi. Well, the cashback benefits are definitely not anything to write home about. You're also going to get purchase protection up to $1,000 per transaction for 90 days after your purchase and extended warranty protections depending on the current terms of your existing warranties for any particular item that you purchase with your SoFi debit card. These two things in particular are features that not only does Discover not have, but really all online banks in general don't have. And there's even some paid credit cards that don't offer features like this. So this is a really great benefit. And for the sake of helping you get some free money and comparing the sign up bonuses for both of these platforms, SoFi is currently offering $50 for free when you open a SoFi money account and another $50 when you open a SoFi invest account. And while Discover is not currently offering any sign up bonuses for their banking services, you can get $50 when you open the Discover It credit card, which was my very first credit card and is free to use and a great place to get started. So there is a link in the description for the Discover It credit card if you do want to give that a shot as well. SoFi does have their own internal peer to peer transfer system, but Discover has partnered with Zelle, which is actually 
actually a third party application that specifically does peer to peer transfers. And this makes it a lot easier to send or receive money in my opinion, just because you're able to send that money to anyone who is not on the Discover network. Whereas many competitors like SoFi, you have to have both people on their own network. Now, when we're looking at FDIC insurance, Discover is going to cover you up to $250,000 while SoFi comes in significantly higher with 1.5 million in FDIC insurance. Now, if you were just keeping a few thousand dollars in this account, then this difference is completely irrelevant to you. However, you might be asking how SoFi is able to provide this significantly higher limit. And that's because they are partnered with several different banks that each provide you with $250,000 in FDIC insurance for your account. So by having partnerships with multiple banks, they're able to offer a total of $1.5 million in FDIC insurance, which is significantly higher than the average bank. Again, this probably isn't going to affect most people, but something to keep in mind since SoFi is able to cover you up to that $1.5 million limit. Now onto one of the biggest considerations in my opinion, and that is customer service. And look, I'll keep this one pretty short. Yes, SoFi has some fantastic customer service and you definitely will not be disappointed. And I've had nothing but good experiences with them. But I've said it before and I will say it again, Discover is just unmatched in this category, not only in the banking industry, but really with customer service in general. With Discover, you're looking at 24 seven US based customer service. And this isn't a general call center where you wait 30 minutes just to have your call transferred up the ladder. Discover will have you on the phone with someone in a matter of minutes. And in 95% of cases, that individual is actually able to take care of everything that you need without having to transfer you to a different apartment or passing you on to their manager. That said, I've had nothing but positive experiences with SoFi's customer service. And they also typically have you on the phone with a real knowledgeable person in a matter of minutes. So really it's a toss up here, but I definitely would give the customer service category to Discover since they offer 24 seven service. All right, so, so far this has been really back and forth and you can probably see why these are the two banks that really made it to this finale of sorts because they really are evenly matched. That said, as I mentioned in Monday's video, I think it's really important that we broaden the scope from just banking services to the overall features of each company. Because when you're signing up for one of these online accounts, yes, of course you're in it for that banking service, but you're also gonna get access to a number of other features that I think you really can take full advantage of. As you know, Discover offers money market accounts and a few different CDs, which are nice, but the way that interest rates are right now, these really don't make a whole lot of sense just because you're able to earn 0.7% in their savings account. And in order to beat that, you're gonna have to put your money in a CD for at least three years with Discover. So in my opinion, these are nice features, but they're not really gonna be a great feature right now. And while SoFi does not currently offer either money market accounts or CDs, they are offering a slew of other financial tools that go far beyond the basic SoFi money account. Included for free with your SoFi money account, you're also gonna get instant access to SoFi Relay, which can not only keep track of your spending in your SoFi accounts, but also all of your other accounts that you decide to link, including your other bank accounts, your investments, and even your credit cards and other debts. And you'll also get a report every single week with an updated credit score and how you can personally improve that over time. And keep in mind that all of these features are under the same exact application. So you can really quickly get a snapshot of all of your different financial metrics. Frankly, that SoFi Relay section even gives designated budgeting apps like Mint a serious run for the money. And it is by far one of my favorite parts of the SoFi platform as a whole. But it doesn't stop there. You can also open a SoFi investing account and get instant access to thousands of individual stocks as well as ETFs, which are all completely free to trade. And you can really quickly transfer money from your SoFi investing account to your SoFi money account and vice versa. And you don't have to wait days for that money to transfer from an external account. And if that wasn't enough, as I'm sure you know, you can also borrow money from SoFi which is really where they started their whole company. And I'm not a huge fan of debt myself, but I know depending on the situation, this might be something that you need to take advantage of. And again, the fact that you're able to do all of this within the same exact platform is just unmatched. On the topic of loans, Discover Bank does currently offer personal loans, which you probably have seen ads for on TV. But outside of those personal loans, they really don't have any other borrowing or lending features. So I'm sure you can see where I am going with this. And maybe you saw this coming from the beginning, but in this battle or finale of sorts between SoFi and Discover Bank, I would give Give this one to, drumroll please, SoFi. Now, hold on, hold on. I know that SoFi has been my number one for a long time. And even when I started this entire series of bank reviews, I said from the beginning that I wanted to find a bank that could rival SoFi. And to be completely honest, I did. When we're looking at strictly the banking features, there really were a number of banks that I did reviews on that gave SoFi some serious competition. But at the end of the day, I'm just making these videos for fun in my house and trying to recommend the best products possible. And there's a reason that I talk about SoFi to the point that it's probably annoying. We could debate for hours 
whether SoFi Money is truly the best bank or if SoFi Relay is truly the best budgeting platform and so on and so forth. However, if you're looking for an overall financial tool, I personally have not found another platform that allows you to invest, save, budget, borrow, along with all of the other amazing features that come with that SoFi Money account, including purchase protection and warranty extension, just to name a few. Don't get me wrong, Discover does offer an amazing bank account and I'm still a huge supporter of the Discover It credit card, which is something that SoFi does not currently offer. But again, I am just trying to recommend the best products possible and as a longtime customer of a number of these banks, I can say with confidence that in my opinion, SoFi is still the best simple online financial tool that I have found. So if you do wanna give SoFi a shot, be sure to use that link in the description below to get $50 for free when you open a SoFi money account. And if you do want a full suite of financial tools, then you can also open a SoFi invest account and get another $50 for free. But as always, let me know who you would have picked in this battle since it was pretty close across the board and what other banks you'd like to see go head to head in future videos. If you did enjoy this little tournament of banks that we did this week, then be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that you can continue to see the great content that I have planned in the future. As always, thank you so much for your time. I seriously do appreciate it so much. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.